player housing, but not like garrisons, but actual game changing feature, playable forest rolls, revamp, possible new types of order halls or massive changes to factions and customizations. These are just some of the features we could be seeing in WoW Midnight. When asked whether they already gave us all the hype with World Soul Saga announcement and if there's really anything left for the remaining two expansions, Blizzard said that WoW Midnight will have the craziest features that will, as they said, blow the player's socks off. Seeing how many crazy things they already gave us that no one saw coming and if we take their word for it, what could be these crazy features we could be seeing in WoW Midnight? If you're interested in programming, but you have the biggest problem out there, which is procrastination, you can just never get yourself to get started. Boot.dev is literally the perfect solution and the best way to get into it. The whole concept is essentially a captivating RPG game. You got XP, levels, achievements, you got the leaderboard, all while not actually playing, but learning quality back-end development. They got a thriving and active Discord community that can help you a lot if you get stuck on coding challenges. However, the best thing is, even if you're not into programming, Boot.dev can get you to start, as back-end developers not only have excellent earning potential, but most importantly, you can work from home. With Boot.dev, you will learn back-end web development from start to finish in Python and Go programming language. So click the link in the description, check out what Boot.dev Dev has to offer and use my code Doran's movies to get 25% off your first payment. That's 25% of the first month or the first year depending on your subscription. So start gaming and programming today. So all this starts a little bit after BlizzCon where pretty much no one saw three expansions coming and they naturally asked Blizzard saying that they just announced three whole expansions this year. Are they worried that there won't be much excitement left for the remaining Midnight in the last Titan? Especially as they sort of already gave us an outline of what is going on and what we could expect. The big features like the Quelthalas and the Northern Revamp are already out in the open so this is not something that is going to be surprising. So what what else could they possibly have in store? To this, Blizzard responded that there is still so much to dive into and to announce with each expansion of the World Soul Saga that will keep players engaged. For Midnight in particular, they said that new features will be coming that are going to, quote, blow the player's socks off. Now, I know what you may be thinking, I mean, Blizzard and promises, they might not even remember <laughs> they said this a year from now, but I really do think this time it is actually different. I mean, we got new leadership, we got bigger teams, expansions already planned out with all of them being worked on right now. So I don't think it is an unpopular opinion to state that the World Soul Saga seems like a much more well thought out, much more serious project than Shadowlands and Dragonflight combined and that they really do have something crazy in store for us. What further makes this statement more serious is the fact that they already said a similar thing about the remaining patches for Dragonflight. They stated that three more patches Patches prior to the War Within pre-patch will be coming, that we will expect big surprises and things players can request it since forever, and they did actually deliver on this. I mean, right off the bat, we got the whole retaking of Gilnaeus in 10.2.5, which is going to happen in a few weeks from now, which has been requested for over a decade and more. And we can also just data mine a few days ago 10.2.6 and 10.2.7, which means three patches really are coming before the War Within pre-patch, and that we are are still up for a lot of surprises. Some speculations, of course, but we might be picking up a new allied race of the Dragon Isles, like the Tuscar or the Draconid, but that is a topic for another video. So let's take this midnight statement from the interview at face value and that we really are up for some crazy features that are going to blow our socks off. What could they be and what are we really in for? If you guys have been following the news these past few years, I mean, there are really not that many things that can shock you with WoW as they introduce some quite radical changes to say the least, I mean, we got a neutral Knight of a Capital, we got playable Demons, we got Lightforged Warlocks, three expansions announced at once, Hero Talents, Dragon Riding, a whole bunch of things that no one saw coming. So, in my opinion, the only thing they could add that would have this effect wouldn't be something new, but something players have been requesting for the longest time, and there are a few such features out there that are still very popular. So, let's look at what we kind of have in the backlog. 
First thing that comes to mind is the famous dance studio. Now, you might remember this being an actually announced feature that was never really elaborated upon back in Wrath of the Lich King. Like, it was actually in the trailer, it never came to be. But despite being this sort of a meme within the community for like the past 15 years, I don't feel like this is a feature that is going to like shock players, like it's going to blow players' socks off. I feel like that time has gone by this point, and Bauk has changed just so much that a dance studio is not exactly something that would like really excite players i could see this maybe being added in a smaller patch but not like the big feature for wow well, midnight that's going to be on like the main announcement second is obviously the feature the so-called world revamp this is a huge feature that everyone has been requesting for the longest time but this has already kind of been announced and talked about so it's not going to be like this one shocking feature i mean we already know the entire two quarter loss is not only getting updated graphics but being made much larger with new areas and with the Gilnea questline there are already hints of the entirety of the northern eastern kingdoms getting updated with Stromgard, parts of the under city plague lands i mean they didn't announce this part it is still speculation we only know about quota last at this point so maybe this could be the big features as it would not only include a whole new city for the forsaken but also a brand new Arati human city Stromgard, as well as the entirely different plague lands so realistically i could see this being something that would shock players that would be like this crazy feature of the second expansion of the world so saga however alongside this i think the most requested feature is something that has been talked about for the longest time like since classic and the devs have mentioned so many times over the years and that is player housing Arguably, the feature the community has wanted for the longest time, so I could definitely see this being a thing or a feature that would quote blow player socks off. This is a really popular MMORPG feature in general, not just in WoW, and some could say that we already kind of had that back in Worlds of Draenor with the garrisons, but let's be real, I mean, that was like a cookie cutter, watered down version of player housing that ended up being super lame and actually didn't really add much to the game. Blizzard has recently shown us that they could take some old features, see what worked, what didn't, get the feedback and improve on it so i could see them learning the lessons from garrisons and implementing them to player housing and actually making player housing interesting this could become a much bigger like sandbox type thing where it wouldn't be faction specific but race specific like you could get to shape it however you wish we could get a whole new gameplay aspect where you'd gather resources and items to your house and when i say resources i don't mean just you know farming garrison resources to place work orders that have this mobile game system where you gotta log in all the time but like you know placing your transmogs on a pedestal your collected weapons choosing the colors of the houses and really turning your like 20 years of wow into an actual house how this could work is really difficult to say i mean we got a ton of rebuilding projects going on right now in the lore with silver moon with gilneas with the night elves so it might be time for our player characters to finally settle down instead of being like these killing machine like hobos so story-wise if the plague lands get cleared out that is like no man's land at this point so we could be able to maybe settle there make space there although i do feel like you should be able to choose a bunch of different locations or azeroth for it to actually be like more race specific however in my opinion this could be like the feature that would actually blow player socks off like a serious game changing feature similar to dragon riding and possibly bigger as well other than this though let's look at what other things we have going on at midnight that could be relevant one of the crazy things could be removing factions or making big changes to factions in general. However, I don't feel like people would exactly be super happy about this feature. I think it will be a pretty controversial thing about it as faction identity is still a huge thing in the game. But let's just be realistic. I mean, factions have been getting less and less relevant every year that passes by. We got all these new added races being neutral. We got the Night Elven Capital being neutral. We got a big possibility of Blood Elves and Silver Moon being neutral. So why? I don't think they would actually remove factions. I do think they can maybe revamp the way character creation works so that you can like choose your race, variation, and faction. As the entire character customization screen is getting way too many races, like it's getting pretty crowded. Now, I don't feel like this is going to happen for everyone, like orcs joining the alliance, but I could definitely see something like this happening for the elves. On the other hand, as in an interview they confirmed they have multiple new races planned for the World Soul Saga other than the Earthen, this could also be the big feature and the big 
this hint, we can right now could be the playable forest trolls and potentially the naga. The naga is the elves and the shala is returning and all this stuff and forest trolls because we're obviously going to get big amani updates with the entirety of revamp of kill the last i mean there's no way to go around the amani so together with this these two seem like very likely races they're very heavily requested so they could be like the big surprise that they actually have in the store but personally i don't think this is all that crazy i mean keep in mind they said features plural meaning this could be just one of them it's not going to be like one big feature other than this what is an interesting possibility as well is something brand new like delves they are just adding or the hero talents which are a brand new thing we could potentially get hints in this expansion or they may be testing out features they will later add in midnight i mean remember how they had essentially just used the zeta like caverns in 10.1 to just test out the entire underground cave system and this huge underground zone so they could actually use it for the war within so that was really a hint for a future feature we could potentially be seeing some early experimentation at the end of the dragon fight or in the war within that could be this crazy thing in midnight However, interestingly enough, they might bring back some of the old kind of successful features like the artifacts or most importantly, like the class order holes. I feel like there was a feature that was really interesting, really amazing looking and expanded on class lore, but maybe not in the exact same shape that it was back in WoW Legion. It could be an expanded version of it, maybe something more mixed where it doesn't isolate you as much just with your own class. But we do have some interesting like orders, like actual class orders coming up like Tear Scan and Paladins. So so this could be yet another big crazy feature that they have in store. Other than this though, I really don't see what else would blow our socks off as they say, nothing really comes to mind. It is definitely possible that Blizzard could be over promising and it could turn out to be something like really lame or some really minor feature and honestly, around channel bands and early dragon fight, I would believe it, like I wouldn't get excited. However, now with so many crazy things they already had announced and done, they had really revolutionized the game and I do think they may be onto something big in one Midnight. In my opinion, the two most likely features they may be mentioning could be player housing and the new playable races that could be coming, or some big changes and revamps to customizations and way characters work like the warbands thing. However, as I said, it could also be some brand new big feature that no one could possibly predict at this point in time, like something no one has even thought of. Thank you for watching, check out the Elves Becoming Neutral by clicking on the screen and check out my video on ancient Greek colonies in Spain by clicking on the screen as well. See you next time.